Hello everybody, it's Colin Bailey from Old Timing TV and can you believe it, this is my second upload in a day. Distant fucking memories, distant memories. It's been so much fun doing these videos for you all again. I'm so happy and I'm making such good recovery on what I'm doing um, beyond the actual YouTube. So it's been so much fun to do them again. And today, this is going to be the video on Who Was on Pavilla part two so yeah thank you for the support on the recent videos guys it's been a really good week for me uh youtube boys and hopefully i'll be back around villa park again in the future and aston villa have emailed me on my season tickets so you know vlogs will be back and i'm going to be changing it all around it is going to be a really good good uh, year for me and also for aston villa because we have had a really busy window and it has been awesome being a Villa fan and you know to say that we finished 11th the highest we finished in 10 years that was last um that was under Gerard Hulia the last time we did that it's really interesting on how realistic our expectations are because we were um 18th for majority of the season we just survived on the last game of the season against West Ham United. 11th won anywhere near our expectation, but now as soon as we're signing all these players and we've had such a good season last season, it just seems more realistic by the second that we're going to do well because the signings aren't even bad signings, they're fucking brilliant signings. Just think, six years ago, we were linked with, and we signed, now I add, Kieran Richardson and Joe Cole. <sighs> Compared to now, we're linked with Ward Prowse, ML Smith Rowe from Arsenal, and Pereira. We've signed Wendia, and we've got a handful of players who I'm going to mention in this video. I'm not going to give everybody away, obviously, but there's a, uh, there's a few to, to name there. All I'm saying is we've come a long way. It's a big difference to see what six years can do to a club. And I'm really excited to be a Villa fan again. It's a, it's a great, great time to be one. So who are we linked with? We are linked with ML Smith-Rowe from Arsenal, as I've touched on before. It's always Arsenal who we seem to upset. They've missed out on Buendia. We've signed Martinez, who's one of the best goalkeepers in the league now for Villa. And now Smith-Rowe. It is absolutely brilliant. And not to mention Jack Grealish. They think they're going to get Jack Grealish, don't they? And an Arsenal fan actually got Grealish on the back of their away shirt. And, you know, they're just going to have a big on the face, aren't they? And, yeah, uh, I think it's all down to laziness by Arteta, isn't it, of not signing all the big players. They never seem to do that, do they? They just seem to leave it so late. And, yeah, um, it seems like we're going to get another player off Arsenal. And Smith Rowe seems like he's going to be a really good player. He's only uh, 20 years old, I believe. He's going to be 20 or he is 20. I don't know. I don't really know that much about him, really. I haven't watched Arsenal um, that much um, last season. So all I know is he's got plenty of potential. He's a centre midfield that he can play in the midfield. And it'll, it'll be uh, quite interesting to see um, which midfielders will sign because we've got so many midfielders and it won't make sense to sign two or three again because... You know, I don't really know who's going to go. I don't know who's going to stay. Samson hasn't really shown what he's capable of just yet. Um, coming in in January, uh, he hasn't really done too much. I think he's been on the bench for most of his uh, time at Villa. So it'll be interesting to see who stays and who goes. But uh, yeah, Smith Rowe, um, really interesting sign in there. And yeah, I can't wait to see if the deal will go forward. And... The, the second signing, I'm going to go for Tammy Abraham because there's three signings who are who we are linked with and Jack Grealish tried to get Tammy Abraham to sign for Villa and he said he's going to try even harder. So hopefully that will be the outcome. He was he is the reason why we're here in the Premier League, isn't he? He is the reason why we're here. And yeah, he's, he's a great championship striker. And for Chelsea, he hasn't really been too good. He's, he's just been, um, he, he's just got the goal when he, when he has. I'm, I know Timo Werner's been in the team for Chelsea and yeah, um, Werner got into the first team in the Champions League and he, he was in the final. And I, I believe Tammy was on the bench, weren't he? So it will be quite interesting to see what he can do for Villa if he does sign. I know when he played for Swansea, he did get a few goals, but he never really lived up to the full expectation when he was at Bristol City, wasn't he? So 
uh, yeah, he, he didn't he didn't really do too good there. So it will be interesting to see what he does. So the third signing is going to be Dwight McNeil. He's 20 years old and he's Burnley's left midfielder. That's probably interesting because, as you know, El Ghazi, he's turned his season around and so has Traore. We wrote Traore off at the start of the season, didn't we? I think all Villa fans should just stay quiet from now on because every time we slate a player, they do brilliantly and they prove the fans wrong. And these two, El Ghazi and Traore, definitely did... Um, have Villa fans turn on them, didn't they? And they just turned their season around. And it will be good uh, for a backup um, winger as well, because as you know, Trezeguet is injured. So it will be good to see if he slots in the team, if he does sign. That was the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Up the Villa and take care.